Instead of cutting back and missing out, find a long-term solution to keep your finances in check. Here are seven frugal living ideas that can help you get your mindset in the right place. Number one, declutter. Stuff attracts more stuff. You aren't going to notice the accumulation of new things if it is drowning in old things. I use the KonMari method to declutter my house and it has had a significant impact on my life. It allows me to see the true value of the items that I bring into my house. This in turn helps me to stay on track with my financial plans and removes unnecessary temptations or purchases. Number two, plan ahead. You can save money if you plan purchases in advance. This is true whether you are stockpiling food or buying gifts. If you buy at short notice, you will often pay extra. Looking for deals on food and stockpiling is a great way to save money. This also applies to emergency situations. Sometimes being frugal means spending money. And this is true when it comes to planning ahead. Review expenditure. Whether it is your day-to-day -day expenses or those bills that you think you cannot change, put them all under scrutiny. Convince yourself that you can reduce the cost of them all. There are some bills that I think I will never be able to get any lower than they currently are. However, every six months to a year, I sit down and work hard to reduce them. If you want to take it to the absolute extreme, then why not try and find a way of getting rid of that expense completely? Do you need a TV license? What about alternative energy sources? Is there a way for you to live rent or mortgage free? Be creative. If you want to live a life that's radically different from what you are used to and different from the lives of your friends and family, then it is going to need creativity. Your TV license is a good example. There are plenty of other ways to watch films and TV. What about if you fancy a holiday? How can you get the holiday you want but within your frugal limits? You could consider staying with friends or even a working holiday where you exchange some of your time for accommodation. Try new things. If you really want to embed the ideas of frugality in your life, then I recommend adopting some ideas into your life that take you out of your comfort zone. Frugality shouldn't mean that you are living a life that constantly makes you uncomfortable. Sometimes trying new things means buying a cheaper variety of baked beans as opposed to the expensive variety that you've been eating all your life. Finding a balance. Deprivation is not sustainable. The art of frugality is treading the fine line between having the things you want and paying too much for them. You can be both frugal and still have three holidays a year. You can live a frugal life and still have meals out. The trick is to get the best value out of your money and the experiences. In some areas of my life, people may feel that I cut back too much and deprive myself. But to me, these parts of my life are less important. They are the areas that I'm absolutely willing to go to the full extreme. There are also those areas where I am willing to spend a little more. But these are for experiences that my family and I gain the most happiness and joy from. By giving myself the freedom to spend a little more here and there, it prevents the need for a big blowout. See the end game. If there comes a month on the path to extreme frugality where you begin to question why you're here, then remember why you started. Have it clear in your mind what you hope to achieve by embracing a lifestyle of cutting back. Talk about it, write it down, make a picture of it, or even start a blog outlining your journey. This will help keep the idea fresh. It will stop you from straying on those days when the path seems tiresome and the alternative is a stroll in the park. If you want to see more videos about being frugal, then check out this video over here. Do you think some people take being frugal too far? Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in another. Thanks for watching. Bye.